collimated light is light whose rays are parallel, and therefore will spread minimally as it propagates. The word is related to collinear, and implies light that does not disperse with distance, or that will disperse minimally. A perfectly collimated beam, with no divergence, cannot be created due to diffraction. Light can be approximately collimated by a number of processes, for instance by means of a collimator. Perfectly collimated light is sometimes said to be focused at infinity. Thus as the distance from a point source increases, the spherical wave fronts become flatter and closer to plane waves, which are perfectly collimated. Etymology The word collimate comes from the Latin verb collimare, which originated in a misreading of collinear, to direct in a straight line. Collimation and decollimation Collimation refers to all the optical elements in an instrument being on the designed optical axis. It also refers to the process of adjusting an optical instrument so that all its elements are on that designed axis. With regards to a telescope, the term refers to the fact that the optical axis of each optical component should be centered and parallel, so that collimated light emerges from the eyepiece. Most amateur reflector telescopes need to be recollimated every few years to maintain optimum performance. This can be done by simple visual methods such as looking down the optical assembly with no eyepiece to make sure the components are lined up, by using a Cheshire eyepiece, or with the assistance of a simple laser collimator or autocollimator. Collimation can also be tested using a shearing interferometer, which is often used to test laser collimation. Decollimation is any mechanism or process which causes a beam with the minimum possible ray divergence to diverge or converge from parallelism. Decollimation may be deliberate for systems reasons, or may be caused by many factors, such as refractive index in homogeneities, occlusions, scattering, deflection, diffraction, reflection, and refraction. Decollimation must be accounted for to fully treat many systems such as radio, radar, sonar, and optical communications. Bibliography. Fister, and Needler, J.A., A Guide to Lasers in the Ore.